Hello this is Michael Rohini College of Engineering and Technology Palakulam Kanyakumari So today we are seeing of the topic is the grouting so properly the type of the grouting the resides reducing the permeability of strata increases the stability of the ground the grout body in form of the closed ring is created ahead of the tunnel advance so these rings helps in the resisting the hydrostatic pressure so see the picture the hydrostatic pressure then ground freezing so in this method the poor water is converted into ice by circulation of a chilled liquid via the system of the small diameter pipes to placed in the drilled holes ice creates the frozen most of the soil or rock particles with improved the compressive strength and impermeability so the brine is the typical cooling agent although the forced acting liquid so nitrogen can be used for your projects the weather freeze only the needs to be the quickly established and maintained for the short period of time so ground freezing can be temporarily sealed and consolidate the ground under conditions that are the water bearing but not suitable for the grouting the availability of technology and experience for the ground freezing is rather limited in india then the grouting the, the several types of the groutings are used to modify or stabilize the soil in situ so reason improvements in the grouting how made it is a valuable tool in the both ground water control and the soil stabilization for the tunneling projects it can be very effective in the following situations the first one is the, the to strengthen the loose or weak soil and to prevent the cave ins the due to the disturbance of the loose sensitivity or weak soils by channeling operations to decrease the permeability and in turn ground water flow to reduce the subsidence effects of the dewatering or to prevent the loss of the signs from the soil then the location for the grouting so grouting can be carried out in the tunnel excavation as your face grouting or as a radial grouting from the excavated tunnel or from a pilot tunnel the grouteability of ground is permeably determined by the ground or percentage finds the passing this 75 micron sieve then the thumb root is that soil having a less than the 10 percentage finds could be successfully grouted and those with the more than the 20 percentage finds however the advancement in the grouting technology have raised this limit approximately 5% so grouting is also assessed by the using grouting ratio as a given so see the three pictures the first one is the permeation grouting the second is the compaction the grouting the third one is the jet grouting so the types of grouting so the permeation grouting so in this method the grouting fills voids in the soil there is no change in the volume or structure in the of the original sound the permeation grouting may be done with either cement based on the chemical ground with a rate being necessary for the satisfactory penetration of the fine soils so this type of the grouting can be used for creation of a support ring around the tunnel excavation boundary or to create a support for foundation of any structure is the vicinity of the channel the second one is the compaction or the displacement grouting this type of grouting is useful in controlling the settlement of the foundation of structures located above the channel the third one is the jet grouting so jet grouting in this method the grout is fragmented by the deliberate hydro fracturing in order to increase the total stress by wedging action of successive thin grout lenses so jet grouting can be used for the forming umbrella ahead of the face thank you